Shalom, brothers and sisters, and we're back. And so now we're going to go into making our egg roll filling. And I hope you can see what I'm doing. Let's see if you can. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and, and fry down my, my uh, onion, if I can get it out of my mouth. And for our meat, we're going to use turkey sausage. This is from a local uh, grocery here called H-E-B. And I'm going to use... Um, hot and spicy to give it just a little bit. It's not that hot, but to give it a tad bit of uh, season, of, you know, flavor. So I'm going to just kind of cut this open and squeeze. So while my onion is cooking, I'll cook my, my turkey with it if I can get the package open right without cutting myself. Okay, so I'm not going to use the whole package right off. I'm going to put half this in here. Uh, yeah, I'll put half in here, and if I need more meat, then I'll come back and add some more to that. As I need it, I'll, I'll add I'll add the meat. You know, you don't want to have too much, and I don't want to overcook it and then have to get rid of it a different way. So, yeah, we're just going to start with half a pack in our onion. For our fried rice I mean for our egg rolls so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this cook down and I'll come back once this has cooked down okay so our meat is almost complete so I'm going to just continue to cook this down and break it up a little bit this turkey is very lean it's not very much oil in the pan and I didn't add any oil so our onion is, is, has cooked down as well. So what I'm going to go ahead and do to this is we like vegetables. We like we just like vegetables. So I'm going to go ahead and add in these bell peppers. And I use the array of colors. And so this will be into our egg rolls. So we're going to cook this down and allow that to wilt. Okay. And once this wilts down... Then we'll transfer this out of this into a bowl and begin to cook down our cabbage. And so I'm going to do that and then I'll be back. Okay, as you can see, our vegetables have completely, they haven't wilted as much as I would like, but the meat is definitely done. So I'm just going to, I just wanted to bring you back so you can see the process as I go through the steps. And I'll just let this cook down continue to cook down and get the vegetables good and tender and I haven't added any seasoning to this just yet because I want that flavor of the turkey meat and the seasoning that it came with to go into this dish and be and almost stand alone okay and so yeah and once I get all of my vegetables where I want them then I'll transfer it into this and we'll go ahead and cook down our cabbage but while we're waiting on that to happen, when this when these vegetables get a little bit tender, I'm going to add in bean sprouts. I, we love, we absolutely here, uh, my grandbaby and I love bean sprouts. So when I'm cooking my version of Oriental food, <laughs> it goes into all of the dishes. And so we're at the stage now where I think I'm ready to receive my bean sprouts. And so I'll just go ahead and add that in. You notice I add a little more to this than I did to my um, fried rice. But like I said, we absolutely love it. And they cook down, so it's just, it elevates the dish to me. Maybe not to anyone else, but for me it does. Alrighty, so yeah. We'll just get this all cooked in. Like so. And so, now that you've seen this portion, when this cooked down a little bit more and I'm ready to transfer it I'll, and go to the next uh, phase of this, I'll come back and we'll chat a little bit more. I'll be back. Okay, so now we're going to transfer this into our, um, to, into our bowl over here because this is done. So, we don't want to overcook anything. We want it just to 
stand on its own merit, okay? So I'm going to just go ahead and transfer this. And we'll go on to our cabbage. I'm going to finish this up and then I'm going to empty the fluids out of here and I'll be back. Okay, as you can see, I've added in my cabbage, but I'm also going to use a little bit of this shredded cabbage from um, the same grocer, this H-E-B. Okay, as you can see, our cabbage has cooked down. It's right where I like it. It's in that good sweet spot for egg rolls. And so, all I'm now going to do is keep turning this a little bit while I add this back into our mixture. Add in our meat and vegetable mixture. I'm going to try real hard not to get that fluid in here because we don't want wet egg rolls, right? Okay, but I do want all of my... <laughs> Y'all know I'm going to get everything I can. Okay, I do want all of my, my, my filling. Alrighty, and so we're just going to marry the two. And as always, I always make too much. Or, I mean, it's like I can never gauge what's enough is enough. I just always make too much. So then what end up happening is these will turn into egg roll bowls. Whatever I have left over. I'll just make an egg roll bowl out of it. Put it up. Throw it in the freezer, and on on the Sabbath, on Shabbat, I can pull it out, and this is something we can throw into the microwave, reheat it, and use. But until then, let's, uh oh I'm making a mess. Ooh. Okay. Until then, we're going to keep going with the egg rolls as, as planned for today, okay? And that's done, so I'm going to go ahead and turn my stove off, because I don't want this to continue to cook. I'm going to move down to the next station, and I'll bring you guys along for... I'm making a big mess. I'll bring you guys along for that as well. But this is essentially your egg roll filling with turkey instead of pork. How about that? Before I move, let's go ahead and make a sweet and sour sauce. Because what's the point in having egg rolls and shrimp fried rice if you don't have a soy sauce or a sweet and sour sauce? So we're gonna need um, ketchup. I'm gonna I'm gonna call this um, about a half a cup of ketchup because I can't remember what I used. But we're gonna say about a half a cup of ketchup, okay? And to this, I'm gonna add in the same amount of apple cider vinegar, which is my own. I just saved a container. that I had um, previously used. So it's, it's apple cider, but it is my own with the mother. And so to this, what I'm gonna do is add now some sugar. And I'm gonna call this sugar amount maybe, uh, let's say two tablespoons, okay? We're gonna call that two tablespoons. Y'all know I really don't measure when I cook. Um, if you don't know, now you know. But what I'm going to do, I'm making a mess as always. Um, what I'm going to do is let this cook down and then I'm going to stir in a slurry of cornstarch to thicken my sweet and sour sauce, okay? So while that's doing that, what I'm going to do is go ahead and get my sweet and sour mix, I mean my slurry of cornstarch mixed together. And I'm going to just use half, maybe half a teaspoon of cornstarch to water or vinegar ratio. I'm going to put a little bit of vinegar and a little bit of water to this. And then mix that down to make my slurry. The slurry would thicken your sauce. So I'm just going to use filtered water from the refrigerator. This is from my Brita. And that's all. That's it. Um, if you want your sweet and sour sauce to be
be a little bit more thicker or richer red color you can add some red food coloring that's not necessary for me it's good enough the way that it is i'm just going to bring this temperature up to get it to a, a good little boil not like rolling but a nice simmer okay not to mess up any further dishes i just use the same dish from my slurry that i had my ketchup in so it's going to pick up the leftover ketchup that's here on the side at the bottom or whatever and then we'll pour in our slurry in just a bit. So now you want to put in a couple of little sprinkles, just a tad bit of soy sauce. Um, I'm going to say about half a, a fourth of a teaspoon. Not very much at all, okay? And yeah, I did. I drifted down the side of my bottle and made a mess. But what's a mess in the kitchen, okay? So we're just going to stir that soy sauce into this like so and again why buy these condiments when it's simple to make them already at home you know they're fresh you know what's in them and because you made them and if you already have all the ingredients then why bother adding one other thing to your shopping list so I'm just gonna bring my temperature up and allow this to sit and come come up a little bit more I'll give it a small taste. Let me get a spoon. I might need to get a couple of spoons so that I can taste it a couple of times. I did grab two spoons. So I'm going to go ahead and get this a taste to see if I need to add a little bit more sugar. And you can add brown sugar if you like that maple base to it. I might add brown sugar if I need more. And yes, I am going to need more. It's a little acidic. A little bit too acidic for me so I'm gonna put in half a cup I guess you could call that half a cup of brown sugar and we're just gonna let that brown sugar come on up with the rest of this and dissolve and get mixed all in here real well like so, so I'm gonna save that testing spoon for a moment You know what? I'm going to taste this one more time before we go any further. I'm going to use the same spoon, but I'm not putting it in. I'm just going to dribble some onto it. To me, it's good, but it's still just a tad bit vinaigrette. So I'm going to add just a bit more. This time, I'm not going to add brown sugar. I'm going to add a little bit more of, of my white uh, sugar just like so as you can see it already begin to look like your sweet and sour sauce that you get from your favorite spot but now it's it's mama sweet and sour because it's mama that's making it it's beautiful look at that okay and now i'm going to go ahead and drop in my actual slurry to thicken this and then I'm going to drop this in the sink, give it a quick, quick stir, like so. Ain't that beautiful? So that's going to bring that up, and it's going to thicken that sauce up. And I can get rid of some of this stuff, because I truly have a mess around me, you guys. And it's drawing my entire attention away from what I'm supposed to be doing, because... I can't focus with all of this stuff around me. Okay. So, yeah. We're going to just continue to stir this, stir this, stir this. And look at that. All right. Get my testing spoon one more time. And I'm going to pour a little bit over here and test this. Good. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alrighty. And that's your sweet and sour sauce. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and turn that off. And there we go. Homemade sweet and sour sauce. No time at all to do. There ain't nothing to it but to do it. Alrighty. Moving on. 
All right, so now we're getting ready to wrap our egg rolls. And in here I have just a little bit of water. Here are my egg roll wrappers, and this is the brand and kind that I'm using. It's plant-based, and it's just egg roll wrappers. And so I'm going to get a, I need a brush to brush my um, egg rolls with once I get them all put into the wrapper. So let's go ahead and get started, all right? So I'll do one just to show you how I wrap them. Let me uh, rinse this spoon off right quickly. I'll be right back. Okay, so my room, my spoon has been rinsed. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my filling. As you can see, it's still hot. It's probably steaming. Just a tad bit of the filling. Put it in the, in the center of your egg roll like so. Okay, and so you want to take and fold in your sides first, and then you're going to grab the end and pull it over the top, and then come back and pull, oops, I tore it, come back and pull down, and just begin to wrap, we're going to just set that right on in here, because it's going to get, it's going to stay, well, I found a spot for it, I'm going to put a little water on it so that it can stick to the, I put a hole in it, so it's gonna be okay. And so I'm just gonna take and put a little water on the ends. You don't want it sopping wet, and that will seal your egg roll, like so, okay? There we go. So the first one is down. I'll set it here on my parchment paper. Let me pull out a little more so that I can line them over here out of my way. Like, like so, okay. I'll do one more. Put the egg roll wrapper down. My hands don't want to work today. I don't know what the deal is. And I'm going to put my fill in here. Like so. And I may overstuff mine, and I know sometimes that I can, but I, it's okay. Push that meat right on back in there and just begin to roll them. Take your brush, brush your ends like so, and roll it down and allow it to rest. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and knock the rest of these out. I don't know how many rolls I'm gonna do, <laughs> but I'm gonna do as many as I uh, wrappers that I have. And that's two, that's not one. Let me separate these two. They're trying to love on each other too much. Okay, so I've gotten that separated. Oh my, I'm making a mess with this. Okay. All right, so it's separated. And I'm just going to continue to roll my filling my, in my wrappers. And I'll be back once I have gotten done with this process. Because this can take a while. And I will not uh, make you suffer watching me wrap or roll egg rolls okay and so mine always turn out a little different the size and sometimes i have like this one shorts and then we proceed to fry just like so that's done family so i'll get the oil hot and we'll be back we ended up with let's see two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen 19 egg rolls, and yeah, I have one that's deciding to burst out of its seam, like so. So, let's try and, and bandage this up by adding just a little bit of water to bring that back. Alrighty, so I'm going to use canola. My pan is warm. We're going to just go ahead and add in a little bit of this canola oil. So we don't want a lot because we're not like trying, we, we're deep frying these, but we don't need to drench them in oils, okay? So I put actually a lot more than I should. I'll show you. You can see in the pan how, where it is up on it. Yeah, that's hot. I burn my hand. So we'll let that get hot and once that's hot, I'll be back. Okay, as you can see, this side is done. So we're going to go ahead and turn them. We just want them lightly brown, lightly golden. 
and they are. beautiful so they are lightly frying up lightly golden and I'll just stand here and turn them to make sure that they're brown on all sides and not just on one or two so this is one of those dishes you, you kind of have to stand and babysit you can't walk away from so when they get ready to come out I'll be back This is our dinner. Fried rice with chicken breast, egg rolls, and homemade sweet and sour sauce. And here is our finished product, our egg rolls, for tonight's dinner. So, shalom family. <laughs>